All right, time for some Nunu jungle today. I'm against the Kindred, who is most likely going to vertical. So that's why I actually picked M Nunu, because Nunu is extremely good against vertical jungling. If you want to know what vertical jungling is, basically just means that whoever the enemy jungler is does one of their camps, most likely red buff, and just hop hops the wall here and uh, moves towards your blue and just starts double camping you here, maybe invading, trying to steal some camps. That specifically doesn't work against Nunu, because one, you can't outsmite a Nunu, and two, Nunu is very healthy. So I'm just going to play for that. I'm just going to play to counter that as well. So I'll start red, and then I'll just instantly move for blue. And just mess the Kindred's day up, basically. Go for like an early level 3, look for maybe a top lane gank, because you can snowball top lane very easily here. So yeah. The elo of this game, by the way, is about diamond 3-ish in that region. So you guys are aware of that as well. Just starting off here. I'm just gonna hit the blue at uh, the red, sorry, guide it towards the blue side. Not chomp it here. And we'll just move. I'm just gonna use the snowball to get to my blue faster. I can actually since I have a ward on it here, I can actually just do this camp in between and just wait and see if Kindred still goes for it. If she doesn't, then I have the extra camp. If she does, then whatever. Looks like she will just be clearing normally. Let me just uh, make sure I do this camp now. I'll pop a potion. Not because I really need to on Nunu, but simply because I'm a little bit wary. Okay. Kindred's bot side. Bot lane looks to be winning. Volley will probably TP towards top lane. He's gonna clear this camp and then I'll move for the teleport because I think he will TP here. He kind of has to, yeah. Okay, and then we start snowball. He doesn't have flash, I would assume, so... Didn't my my rally? I didn't walk up initially though. It's a bit unfortunate. I'm just gonna have to go for scuttle first. I might be able to turn around soon, but well, he has to respect me for a little bit at least. Just do this. He wore to try. I'm pretty sure. Nothing else would really make any sense. All right, let's see. If you do the scuttle first and then you keep the speed boost basically, so we can just come in with a lot more speed, like that. So if you use your W with any speed actives or any speed things you have on you, you hold that speed so it will increasingly get higher and higher and higher and you just, as you saw with the speed that came in there, there's nothing you can do. Just a cheese tactic you can do on Nunu. Now let me see, I know he didn't have flash so there was always going to be a, a situation where I just kill him there. Alright, early... I like to get a Dark Seal on Nunu early, like first back these days. Just go like boots into Dark Seal. If you have enough money for your straight up Bami Cinder, then that's good. If you don't, then I like this and then just go for Bami Cinder like afterwards. I don't think I can do much against Katarina. Shadow Shampoos are flashes away and I'm just sitting there like, okay, well. This camp isn't worth that much. Finishing that off, so I'll just be going for my other camp here. It's gonna take me too long. Interesting. He cleared this. That's fine. It wasn't it wasn't level two anyway, so I don't really lose too much on that. I she ha does have three kills though, actually. Damn. Okay, they got her. That's good. Hmm. I wanna just gank top again. Like I can really snowball this volley into the other direction. Pretty sure he would have warded by now. I'm just gonna snare him. I'm pretty sure he would. I didn't want to take that kill. I accidentally did it. You 
Okay. I mean, I guess I have the favor of my bolt line is doing pretty good. Kindred is pretty fat though, so that's something I'm gonna have to be careful about. I want to look for this dragon soon as well with the bolt lane prior I should have. That should be pretty free. Kindred could be doing it by now though. I think she will be dead here. Yeah. Not a whole lot I can do about that. What? Whoa, I just messed up royally. Holy shit. I thought I was standing next to the wall. Hmm, that was a misplay and a half. I accidentally snowballed into the wall. That was bad. Whoops. That could have actually been a free kill if I just didn't snowball like that. It happens so well. Gonna move on to my camp. I'm actually skipping this and I'm straight going for the uh, raptors now. Since that just got Kindred's mark. Quite wary about the kindred here. I don't think doing dragon here is currently the right move. Simply because kindred's four kills, very strong. I could look for the dragon now. Gonna hop over, place the control ward. Botlane has the prio here. They, they have no vision on it, like that plant doesn't see me. I can just kind of chill here. I pinged it enough, I hope she doesn't die. Uh, she died. It's uh, unfortunate for me. I'll be losing my Gromp here. Yeah, I'll be losing my Gromp here. There's nothing I can do about that. Real question is, does their bottling collapse on me here? They do, in fact, collapse on me here. Okay, it looks like they're leaving. I'm just gonna have to leave as well. Let's see if I might be able to sneak in a cheeky snowball on this Katarina. I'm helping if you clear the wave here so she can back. Uh, we can't do anything about this. Oh, and she gets the mark there, really? Hmm. Yeah, Kindred's getting very strong here. This is pretty bad, actually. I need to base soon. I need to base right now. Okay, let's see. Sunfire did get buffed as well, so now we actually get the full healing. Which is very- or full, full healing, like 150% damage on the monster camps instead of 100. But it definitely helps with clear speed. I'm not doing too bad, I got a dragon and everything, but Kindred has just gotten a lot of kills. I don't even know on who. Like one on Aurelia, maybe two on Anivia. No, what the? They're actually taking my camps. What is... Okay, looks like I'll be losing a lot then. I mean, I understand that it's Kindred Mark, but Kindred is clearly top lane, so... Kindred Bolt? No, mid is in trouble. Actually, never mind. 
Let's see if I can do something about this. Yeah, this should be fine. She flashed, perfect. I didn't think she, I, like, the reason I killed her is because I smited her there. I don't think she expected that. So that's why she maybe didn't ult or maybe she didn't have it. Pump. I might be able to get the Volley F. Let's see if I can cheese the guy. Like, I'm pretty confident here that with Nunu ult, I should be able to do enough damage on him. Okay, got him. Not too bad. Game is gonna get interesting. I need to assist my Aurelia just a little bit more. I'll have my Sunfire soon, which is good. Gonna be big. But as you can see right now, I'm just looking for some picks while still making sure that I clear some camps. Look for the main main thing to look for is that Dragon Control on Nunu. Like, if you have the bot lane prior, like I do this game, definitely important you do that. Alright, get some fire. I just hope Aurelia can just play safe enough to where she doesn't just completely end. It's gonna be the most important. Kindred's next mark's probably gonna be my raptor camp here. It's gonna play for this dragon because bot lane should have the priority on this. There's no way there should be anything done here. Rally is TPing. Okay, that's not bad. Ooh. I should have just put my ult for the damage there. I tried to get a full charge and I didn't take into account her thing. I'm giving the kill there to uh, the Kindred there, no doubt. Eat one more Q. I just snowball it up and curve around the corner. Should be able to catch somebody here. Yeah, this is good. Okay. I'm gonna prep my snare. Dump a minion for some additional. Alright, I, would, I wasn't sure if that was gonna kill me, to be honest. But that's why I safety flashed. And chomp it up. I've got a smite coming up in three seconds. The way I played that was as slow as possible. Ensure that that, that would work out. I was very low on health. Chomp a minion there gives you a hell of a lot of HP, by the way. So that's definitely something you need to keep in mind. Solid. It's another dragon. And in this situation, I push mid because Anivia has both. So I just push this wave in. It's already pushing towards the enemy, so I should take it. Chomp that. I have 10 stacks on my Magi, so it's pretty worth getting the Magi's here soonish. Let me just use a ward. Alright, she is definitely in my... or wasn't in my jungle. I can't contest this, the, the Rift Herald there, I don't think. We'll see. Maybe. I can do this, that's okay. This should be fine. And I wanted to pop my ult just early enough, or just like in the right time to where it doesn't kill the volley bear, but I do get the uh get enough damage on him so I really get the thing off and I get I like I mean I guessed it right, I guess is the right word. I'm not sure. I got it right. Because I don't want the kill there. I need my Aurelia to get the kill. I'm playing tank Nunu. I'm playing engaged Nunu. If she gets more damage as a damage dealer. And gets like a bladed rune king buy or whatever. That's generally better for me. It's some things you have to keep in mind. No matter what elo you play in. It's always better to just give the, the kill as Nunu to your to your carry. To your damage carry. Because that's going to be more beneficial. 
Nothing I can do about that. Against that team, I will be going with ninjas. And in this case, I can probably just get the Magi's pretty confident. And from here on out, I'm going to go Deadman's Plate. It did get nerfed by 100 HP, but I'm not getting it for the defensive stat as much as I'm just getting it for the mobility, the move speed. Because it's just very, very good for catch potential with Nunu. And after that, I'll probably get some healing reduction type of stuff. So, uh, like a Thorn Mill Brambles type of idea. The reason this is so good, by the way, is because it gives you 10% move speed when you have 10 stacks on it, but it also gives AP, and Nunu's AP scalings are not bad at all. So it's like a double combo of just a lot of move speed alongside the additional, like... Okay, make sure I get some of my camps. Okay, good. My entire team is in base right now, so I can't really do anything aggressive. Can't walk up. Need to just play slow play for dragons. See if I can get to the Katarina in time. Okay, that works. At least I clean it up. You just place the control in the Drake pit there. Top Scuttle will be spawning basically any second here. Might also be able to make it to the uh, fully still if I want to go for that. Kind of need the Anivia currently to do that camp, I think. This situation, I'm just gonna have to play it like slow enough, but look for en enough like invades or not invades, enough engages with like a Nautilus or something. Ooh, Anivia didn't, uh, sorry, not Anivia, the Misfortune didn't kill that minion, which basically just meant that the Nautilus couldn't hook the Trist in that situation. I should be using the Rift Herald on mid-third mid here. Mav should get red. Kind of have to use it on mid-third here, was about to time out. They should get the turret, like it should just get one bounce and get the turret. Hmm, whatever, close enough, I guess. I will just be going for the Katarina here. I'm not sure if I can get this curve off, right? Hmm, right. My team isn't, like we should be just, we should just be grouping. Just kill the kill the. My team is trolling there. Like that that kindred should be dead. We just have to group. They let the Kindred walk, like the Nautilus allowed the Kindred to walk past here where it should have just been an instant Nautilus hook. Kindred would have died without any contest. There's nothing she would have been able to do. So that kind of sucks. I don't know, my team looks to be losing their mind a little bit. Which is not great. Kindred's very fed. Anivia just... Why Anivia having a mental breakdown? Or... Is that just me? And we just lost that dragon for really no reason. I don't know, even know what's going on at this point. Flashed away and ulted away as well. I don't want these kills. 
Is it given to anyone? Good. I should be able to outsmite the kindred here. 980, so that's 1700 true damage. I have to peel as much as I can. Yeah, we can Baron here for sure. That's good. I was trying to peel as much as possible with like ult zoning and just my E positioning so I could snare people. Also the W timing there to ensure that they couldn't walk past or charge in. Like I hit the volley bear right before he could actually hit a target. That's good. 1700 damage is when I'm bursting this. It. Again, not trying to pick up any kills. Now we're looking pretty good again on stacks. I easily got my stacks back. The initial death there was not great on my end. As long as we just play this out as a team and just 5v5. I don't have enough gold. Like, I think as a 5v5 team, we should be the best off because we have Misfortune ult and everything to, to better make 5v5s happen. If they catch us in so, so, solo scenarios, we just... It's just not good. Because they have way better teams for that. Right, cool. I have my Deadman's Plate. Always use your Snowball instantly with your Home Guards because it, you, you hold the move speed boost. So it's, you're going to get out of base much faster. Whoa, you're ulting a Leona like that? That's not too bad. I'm actually going to start ulting here so they can't walk up. I, d I ulted in that specific uh, situation because that doesn't allow the Kindred or the Tristana to walk up. Okay, I'm just going to zone the Kindred all the way back there. Do not allow her to get any movement towards my team. You want to treat these Nunu's and Nunu scenarios in team fights to just a scenario where you can zone as many people, do as much disruptive ability for any team fight you can possibly do. That is not the play. Can we just finish the turret? Wait. We just got a Kindred ult. This is super good. The Kindred has no ult. Kindred not having ult here is going to be massive. Okay, get some control. My smites, 9-8 is like 1700 still. Chomp. Ooh, we're not doing this. That is too deep. I'm just gonna start ulting here. Fully jumps in. That's cool with me. I'm ulting there, so if anyone goes for it, like goes in, the Katarina has to jump in. The Trist ge generally jumps in. Fully jumps in with ult. Leona has to go in with her E. All the type of stuff. I'm simply ulting there to basically ensure that anyone that jumps in just gets slowed and hit by my ult. So that's the main goal there. Again, that additional zoning, zoning ability you're looking for. Right, there we go. We get a phase rush proc here. I'm looking for those snowballs to charge into teamfights with. 
jump a minion here for some extra HP. Pull myself back to full. Not bad. Just curve here and go for the scuttle real quick. I'm also going to get this camp really fast. She needs to back right now. Like actually right now. Quickly gonna get this before Kindred gets her mark off it. Can you please walk away? He forced his flash, okay. Actually, she did a lot more damage to the volley better than I thought she would. Probably could have killed him. He has only armor, okay, that explains a lot, actually. <laughs> explains a hell of a lot. Hmm. I guess healing reduction here is pretty good. Let's just go Thornmill. I can also get magic resist in the form of like a spirit visage or something like that, but I think Thornmill here is just good. As you can see, going out of base here, I'm gonna give, give the Anivia a leash on this blue buff real quick. Look at all the move speed I have, by the way. Like a fully stacked Deadmans and everything just synergizes really well. Okay, we're going for this. Let's try to get a good snowball in here. Curve it right. Hit her with it. Smite her. Good. And then we slow her. She got a jump. Should be good for not follow up from the team, hopefully. Ah, right, that works. There we go. New new things. But yeah, that is basically game and that's it for Nunu. It's also like you can see that Nunu is basically un unkillable when it comes to like vertical. That's why I can all she couldn't do much even though she had a five kill lead. So yeah, I hope you guys have enjoyed this video. If you did, please make sure to hit the thumbs up button below. Helps me out quite a bit. If you'd like to see more videos from me in the future, hit the subscribe button as well. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye.